what's up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome and welcome back for those that are new what's up don't forget to subscribe like join the family we the coolest kids in in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys hair tools that i cannot do this journey without and i thought to share it with you guys in case someone is looking for a few hair tools to make their lives a little easier i am here to help you guys with the first thing i'm going to be sharing with you guys and the one thing i currently cannot live without is my scissors my hair scissors uh these are barbara scissors I hope you can see that let me take it out for you guys these are barbara scissors that i got from uh clicks yeah these are barber scissors that i got from clicks i could not find the hair scissors that everyone talks about those stainless steel ones but these if i'm not mistaken are also stainless steel right no yeah no boo i don't know okay but these are the scissors that i've been using these are barber scissors from clicks they come with a little comb and this is what i've been using to trim my hair periodically when i need a trimming or do the search and destroy method when i'm just sitting there looking at my ends i'm like oh baby is that a split end who chop it off okay the second thing that i cannot live without um while trying to look after my hair and be on this journey is my hood dryer this is can you can you guys see how compact this is boo you can put this in your pocket and like L listen where are we going let's go i'm ready okay i'm ready to go let's, let's go okay this is so compact and it is so um portable it is sold at clicks for about 180 rand 180 or 150 rand i'll leave everything down below for you guys to see the prices but this is the hood dryer hood dryer that i reviewed on my channel a couple of months ago i've been using it ever since i just had to get a better blow dryer because mine was really old and kept timing out but if you have a really good blow dryer i do advise that maybe i do suggest that you maybe get yourself a hood dryer this really helps me for example uh when i tried rollers for the first time when i tried rolling my hair and i, I didn't have the patience to just sit there and wait for my hair to dry i put the hood dryer on top of that let it on put it on for about an hour and it was literally drying my hair quicker uh if for example you have a style you have some twist you're trying to air dry but not air dry you know so what i do is i put my hair into twist i moisturize i seal or whatever i'm doing to dry my hair i put the hood dryer over that okay and i sit for half the time i would sit just sitting like this and the most important thing and one of the uh, most common things we hear hood dryers for are for things such as deep conditioning this is a source of heat that one can use for the deep conditioning sessions uh you put a plastic bag so you put your deep conditioner put a plastic bag over your head put this hood dryer connect your blow dryer and you just chill girl you just chill okay the nozzle is so long that you can put it aside and do what you need to do thing i'm going to be talking about is sectioning clips okay um i love sectioning my hair i section my hair to wash my hair i section my hair to moisturize my hair i said i section my hair to do everything to my hair okay because i have um a finer fine to normal but more on the fine side hair um it tangles a lot and the best way to prevent my hair from tangling um is to section it and do it in smaller sections so i got these okay cool so i got these um hair clips uh i'm sure you can find them on show on sites such as amazon but i got mine from crazy store for anyone who is in south africa i got these from uh crazy store and how much were they i think they're not more than 30 rand and they come as a pack of six so yeah i use this to section my hair i'm throwing that like i'm not gonna need it next i'm going to be talking about is my uh hair ties i have these uh hair ties without any metals on them um because uh i don't know if you realize but the hair ties with metal on them what what starts to happen is when the metal starts to separate from the rubber band itself you start to see like the metal actually cavings in where it caved in to hold in the elastic itself your hair can get caught and stuck in the those um, metals and start to break off and I used to have those ribbons when I was younger and when you look at your ribbon you actually see like balls of hair 
on the ribbon that's not a good thing okay <laughs> that's a sign that your hair is breaking that is a sign that something is breaking your hair your hair is breaking off either you've tied it too tight or the actual elastic that you are using is pulling out your hair so i went for these seamless hair ribbons and yeah i haven't had any hairballs stuck in my ribbons off yet i also have these little uh, mini elastic bands that i keep in uh their container as you can see they're from clicks and to show the mini size i mean here's an, a normal size scrunchie and here is this scrunch if you don't follow my instagram then you don't know what i use these for but i'm gonna say it anyway so i use these to tie my hair uh and the ends when i am washing my hair because i do wash my hair in twists just to avoid knotting and tangling unnecessarily so um i tie this at the bottom of the twist just to prevent my hair from untwisting while i am washing it and it defeating the purpose of me twisting it in the beginning the next thing i'm going to be talking about is we all know this if you don't have a wide tooth comb right now in your basket of um hair tools and hair accessories sis what are you doing okay having a white tooth comb uh, especially when you have relaxed hair i don't know about natural hair so i'm not gonna speak with natural hair but it's when you have relaxed hair having a white tooth comb really helps to minimize the, the 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 tension that you're putting on your hair as you are combing it we all know those fine tooth combs that make your hair look slick right but when you take it out you got like those little strings of hair a lot of them sticking there this just ensures that you're not snagging and pulling as much hair um out basically i do want to get one with a handle because i find that this tends to be quite uncomfortable after a while holding it like this you know yeah whereas if i had a handle it would be easier but yeah nevertheless it is a wide tooth um comb I think my biggest struggle in the beginning was trying to reach my hair like on the inside trying to actually reach my hair but i got myself one of these things i'm sure you guys know what this is these are head massages slash scalp cleaners so i use it when i am shampooing or when i'm trying to massage my scalp after putting some oil on it you basically you let's say this is your scalp right i just like to do that oh and it feels so good i don't like to go in circular motions because that will tangle your hair so i just like to you know not brush my hair but lightly you know caress it vertically like this you know and it feels so good it feels so amazing i always feel like i'm reaching my scalp like i'm reaching in like you ever wash your hair so hard that you start going yeah this okay this bad boy is good it wasn't expensive either i think it was about 25 rand at clicks if i'm not mistaken girl go and get yourself a head massager slash shampooing brush okay you won't regret it like this 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 bad boy you need it okay the next thing i'm going to be talking about is a, a bottle i'm not talking about the oil so i can cover her name Okay, let me do it this way. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is a bottle with a nozzle. Okay, hold on, focus. It's a bottle with a nozzle like this. And basically why I like bottles with nozzles like this is it makes it easier for you to actually apply oil directly like this onto your scalp or wherever you need to do it. Uh, especially when you're doing a hot oil treatment and you're trying to actually reach your scalp. Having a bottle with a nozzle like this really does um, help you out to reach that thing without you having to dip your fingers and you know do that um so i bought this unjackie grapeseed and avocado uh oil oil <laughs> about this oh, yeah oil oil i did review it on my channel i do have a video about it i will link it up here but uh i've repossessed this bottle just to fill in um you know the the, the different oils i have like this and i mean how how is one going to apply this type of bottle on their head you know so i usually i usually take my olive oil put a little bit in here put a couple drops of tea tree and then i use that to reach my scalp when i want to put some oil on my scalp or when i'm doing the hot oil treatment you guys get the point okay the tool that i'm going to be talking about uh is the brain brain power 
practicing patience. When you're doing your hair and when you are learning to do your own hair, you need to have a lot of patience because you're learning your hair, you know? You're learning what your hair likes, how your hair is, is it coarse, is it not coarse, what does it like, what doesn't it like? And most of the time what I found is that, um, yes, someone might say, oh, this product worked amazing on me, it's so moisturizing, try it on your hair, and then you try it on your hair, and on your hair, it just, it doesn't work the same, it tangles your hair, it feels rough, you're going to have to use patience to get through that situation, you know? When you're detangling your hair, you're gonna have to take your time. So patience is a really, really important tool, skill to practice and have when you're dealing with your hair, or else, girl. Yeah, I hope, you, I hope this hair in my face didn't disturb you guys. My hair doesn't want to part in the middle, okay? It keeps falling forward into a fringe. Like, I'll put it here, and do this okay and keep it there eventually when i'm done it's just here i prefer it to like i don't know it gives me a little edge you know <laughs> but yeah guys thank you for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe and share any video suggestions you have please do leave them in the comments below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye